Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Uh, we've got some mule deer right across the creek here from us, and there's a one-star mature in there. And um, I'm going to see if we can ease over here and get a shot on him. I've checked out some of my herds, and I'm not saying that all of the uh, animals that had their own rating are, are gone, but uh, I haven't found any. I hadn't found any two-star matures. I mean, uh, two-star youngs or nothing like that. So, hopefully, since the update, things are going to look up for us a little bit. We definitely don't want to take that guy. He is looking pretty good. So, maybe we can watch him grow for a while. I'm not sure what all is in that herd. But that mature right there, if he'll step out, we will go ahead and take him. That deer back there in the back looks almost white. She's a mature. She might be, uh, uh, you know, getting getting pretty old on us. That's that one star mature that just stepped out at about 2:30. See if we can get the old 308 to get a hold of him. Let's go down to 200. That art uh, art to be a halfway decent shot there. He is definitely down. He didn't go anywhere. So let's run over here real quick. And uh, it's kind of early in the evening on the game. So uh, like 1230, 1 o'clock maybe. Uh, yeah, 1, 107. So. We will, uh, I'm just going to work this river bottom with the wind we have, and we may do a little stand hunt and just see if we can uh, call a few deer and see what's, uh, if we notice any differences with the uh, update. I do seem like I'm doing a little better on my FPS, but uh, I have had a few drops uh, here and there, and it's not that big of a deal to me. But to some people it might bother them, I don't know. But um, I got on Call of the Wild yesterday and played, and I have it set for 60 frames a second, and it's been staying, um, staying right at 60 on Call of the Wild, the hunter and the angler. So, but <clears throat> this is a pretty taxing game. I mean, uh, <coughs> you have a lot going on with weather and like uh, when I first started walking down the river it was raining I was hoping to that we would get a thunderstorm the, the, the thunderstorms on this game if you hadn't seen them yet they look amazing so let's go ahead and see if we can get us a little little trophy shot here Okay. He did. He had a pretty straight rack on him. He just didn't have any mass at all, and he he wasn't wide and wasn't that tall. So, but it's a, a decent looking little rack. So we went right in. We got the heart, lung, and uh, flesh and bone. One star mature. All right. So. Uh, I'm just going to keep making my way down this river. We've got a good wind, and we're going to use it to our advantage and see if we can get on a few more deer. All right, guys, we've come on down the river just a little ways, and uh, I hit this uh, trophy buck call, and we had a uh, male call to us there, and that was now we've got a female calling, but I'm betting that that male there may be a good one. So... I had actually seen some other mule deer there uh, <coughs> way across the river from us. And this pheasant's been going crazy, but I dropped a pin on them. I just can't spot them. They're so far out, and I can't really tell if anything's halfway decent or, or not. 
That's a little buck there. Just barely can see him. There's one deer, he's staying hid back in there, but I'm really interested to see what this is that called to us, and I hope it comes on in. I wish he'd give us another call. Okay, so that was a uh, mule deer male. All right, he's, he's coming in, but he's coming about at the backwards way there. He's made it 50 meters closer to us. The first time he called, he was at 250. <clears throat> I hope he don't walk all the way into us behind that tree. That'll be kind of aggravating. got two males at 200 meters that's doing some calling so we might have a couple of nice bucks coming in here to us <clears throat> I'm just gonna try to keep recording and uh, put this whole little process in here if we're able to make a kill on one of these Still calling. All right, so uh, I'd assume they're probably both in at about 150 meters now. Looks like they're just gonna keep coming in behind that tree, but maybe they'll step out in the road there and give us like a 30 yard broadside shot. <clears throat> So we got one at 150, one at 250. There is a lot of calling going on. Male up there at 250, 200, 150, 250. So I don't know. Maybe if I'm right in here, I might be able to get a look at him before he gets too close to us. I'll try to take the binoculars out next time. We need to take the 308 out as well and go ahead and turn that sight down a little bit. Oh, we've got one right here on us. At 100 meters, uh, we're definitely going to have to get the gun out. Turn that down a little bit, turn that down. Uh, we're basically just waiting on him to step out now. This is kind of intense here. I mean, how many trophy mule deer could we have in one spot? I'm not complaining, but I'm uh, kind of anxious to see what's uh, what's coming our way. He's still right there, just right in behind that tree, and I can't see him. There he is. I wouldn't want to make that shot, though. I'd like to know what he's... He's not that big at all, is he? Maybe he is. Okay, okay. All right, come on, come on, guy. Get up from behind that tree. Stop, stop. I need a whistle. Come on, dude. <laughs> Alright, we're going to be tracking him a long ways. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Four shots with a 308. <laughs> uh, could that have went any, any worse? I, 
I knew when I pulled the trigger the first time I was way back on him. But I really wanted to take him because of, uh, that's the, uh, first, uh, first time I've called in a big buck. I should have waited until he stopped, but it's alright. You live, you learn. Uh, either way, I'd say that he's going to go down because he's got holes all in him. Are we going to make any money? Probably not. We got blood right there. We got blood everywhere. I wonder how bad it took his star rating down though. And I'm gonna put this in the video uh, just for just for the hunt. I mean, it was a hunt. I knew the first shot was bad. Tried to do what I could do to uh, to save it, but was it enough? Because we got a l the blood just went down to pretty much nothing. Okay, it looks a little better up there. There, that last little spot looked terrible though. gonna have to start taking my time with these shots uh, I mean I do fairly good for the most part I guess sorry about that my my dogs a little cranky uh, we got a thunderstorm coming up and she's not a big fan of them at least he wasn't that big of a buck uh, so we didn't mess mess nothing up too terribly a little trophy shot here. And we'll see what this guy looks like. Uh, yeah, I knew we got him in the gut that first time, but I probably shouldn't ever shot him again because uh, we got liver too, so and that one was way back. That one was just a near miss, and we got Got the artery in the back leg with that one, so that right there may have been what saved the day. The fourth and final shot. Eh, he was just a two-star mature, so nothing to be sad about. So I'm going to go down here and get back on this river and see if we can find some more deer. We've clearly got some more uh, mature deer in the area. Alright guys, I'm just wasting a little bit of time here until the uh, deer move into their... Uh, eating zones and I want to go check a couple of places out. I didn't really want to fast forward the time. So I thought we'd stop by this pond real quick and see if there might be any ducks out here. I've got the old double barrel with us. I didn't see no deer. Uh, I'm not sure how many shells I've got for it because uh, all right, we got 43. We got enough. I shot a couple of pheasants. I really enjoy this uh, double barrel on this game. It's a really pretty gun. I probably should have checked that field. I've got a herd of whitetail up here, but there's not anything any uh, too impressive in there. Just a bunch of small bucks. And uh, basically all the herds I've been watching lately have got small bucks in them. And... I've just not uh, not found anything better. I've went down and hunted the Highland Forest quite a bit, but I've had a real hard time getting on deer down there. Unless it's in the drink zone, drink time, then I can find a few of them. We've got a little herd of moose right here too, but it looks like we don't have any uh, any ducks here. So let's go back to the tent. And we will go. Let's go over here. That wouldn't be too far to run really quick. Just shoot over there and see if we can see anything. And then we'll get into the. Uh... What am I stepping on? We'll get into the. Uh... 
deer hunting for the evening with the uh, when they go into the eating zone. I'm just going to run a little bit. Hopefully I don't spook nothing off. <coughs> if those ducks will keep flying back and forth over the top of you, though, uh, it looks really good shooting them out of the air. I don't know what what's going to have to happen as far as calling them or whatnot. I've tried calling a couple of times and just didn't have any luck with it, but... Uh, during the downtime for the deer, there's a couple of hours through the day where it's hard to find anything. And I find myself doing a good bit of pheasant hunting or uh, just messing around with the ducks a little bit. I'm really just now starting to, to mess with the ducks any. I do get a diamond mallard. He looks really good in the trophy lodge. Uh, they look a little weird in the, the harvest screen. Their beak is too long, I believe, is what the problem is. It just makes their head look weird. This game's got some really good looking graphics in it. I've tried to get into hunting Transylvania more too, but there's just, I don't know why. And I think it's the same way with Call of the Wild. Uh, I like hunting late in lakes, but I've never, the only thing I've used Hirschfelden for is um, the geese back when you could get on there and uh, grind the geese out. Let's see if we can, uh, if you point yourself going up and start walking <coughs> forward, sometimes it helps a little bit. Oh, we got some ducks right there. Let's get this uh, double barrel out and walk at a normal speed. Let's see if we can't get them to fly right for us. I just hope they don't break and fly when we're uh, still in these pines. It's going to be hard to see them if they do. But yeah, I used Hirschfelden for the geese. I never really hunted red deer or fallow deer there. I got into hunting the red deer more probably on Parquet Fernando and then uh, I got into hunting the fallow deer on the uh, I forget what map that is that I was hunting them on it's one of the newer maps come on guy get right that's what I'm talking about one for one a little better with the old double barrel So hen, I've noticed this seems like the hens pay a little more than the uh, mallards do. If I'm remembering right, or I may have been thinking about before the uh, update. That's another hen. Let's see this one. He could potentially come back over, so I don't know, but uh, let's go on and check this. Um, We'll keep an eye on those guys. If they come over the trees, then, then we'll get them. That's definitely sounding like it's getting closer. But it looks like they may have landed. Oh, okay, here we go. Look, just when I said I was getting better, I went and missed twice. I don't know if we can get that one or not. Definitely not. <clears throat> I got two for two and then now I'm gonna go uh, show you how to mess that little streak up. There should be some more ducks around these ponds. Everything seems to be running pretty smooth. Uh, I hadn't tried to multiplayer out since the update, but I didn't look and see if they done anything to it either. But we got us a couple of ducks, so I think I'm going to uh, try to get on down there and check those feed zones out. All right, guys, we have uh, come across a herd of uh, white tail here. I've got a three-star mature in there. I believe if he'll come on up here and give us a shot, we're going to take him. I also got a two-star mature and a... Uh, 
one star young so everything's still looking good on the ratings they should come straight on out up into this field here for us and maybe we can put a good shot on him to get into the hunt there's a three star mature right there at about 250 I don't know if that's something we want to take or not we'll just have to see what he looks like through the scope it's another one of those matures there I'd like to get that three star there but rather him give us a little bit better shot than that so that could work out perfect I have shot a couple like that and got the neck bone whoa this thing was going crazy when I tried to lay down still not there we go he turned just enough for us to get a good shot on him he is not going far at all he's hurting He made it across the creek. That's farther than I would have thought he would have would have been able to make it. But uh, we'll just walk on down here and get him. I think this will be the last uh, last uh, kill of the hunt here. We're just down here, right outside the post at Diamond Drill. I did kill a couple of more geese before I came down here, but uh, nothing interesting. Just just mainly practicing a little more with that shotgun because uh, the bird hunting on here is uh, it's quite enjoyable to me the uh, the pheasant I like that you you have to get a little closer to them to kick them up because on call of the wild when you got them flushing and at a hundred yards from you I mean you just don't have a chance with a shotgun That's the one thing I hope they don't change on here. I hope they leave the, the birds exactly the way they are. That way you can at least kind of get close enough to them to see when they come off the ground. Yeah, he didn't make it far at all. Just barely made it across the creek. Let's see if we can see where all this blood's dumped out. Turn the hunter sense on for a minute. Yeah, he was bleeding pretty bad. It's a good looking little area right in there. We might have to come down in here uh, and try to find where these deer are bedding at as well. We'll get this white tail picked up and I believe we'll call that a day. I think it was a pretty good hunt. So, uh, 238 meters, we got the left lung just a little bit of the wound cavity must have got the heart there we just barely nicked the top of it and we got artery artery that was enough to put him down yeah he was already looking pretty gray so that's a three star mature he had a really nice rack on him though he was just a little off on that right side there at 393.1 well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. <clears throat> I, I know I sure enjoyed being back on here this evening and everything working a little bit better. But y'all please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.